So this is the most popular, I think it probably still is the most popular picture out of a book that David and I first wrote uh, nearly 15 years ago, 14 years ago. Uh, this, let's imagine that this was how much of an activity you could do before you're, you injured or before your pain started. And we have this beautiful buffer here so that you get pain before you break any tissues. If you've had pain for a long time, the single biggest impact on your biology and therefore on your entire life is the increase in the size of the buffer. And that buffer is increased because your nervous system and your immune system has learnt how to be very efficient at producing pain. So you get pain when you're not anywhere near being in danger. And it's real pain because pain is always real no matter what is causing it. So the challenge that, that anyone with persistent pain has is to work out, okay, why is my brain protecting and how can I reduce the size of my buffer? That's the new questions, I guess. And the language that we use is that your system is overprotective. Your system is overprotective. 